Hi guys, it's Anna, and today I'm doing my monthly favorites video of May. I'm like, what month are we in? Okay, so the first thing I'm going to start off with is something that is probably my absolute favorite thing that I have been enjoying, and it's not even a makeup product, but it is a skincare product. And I heard about it years ago, and just about three and a half weeks ago, I picked it up, and I've been using it every night since. And it's from Walgreens, and it's called Studio 35 Beauty Alpha Hydroxy Face Cream. And it comes in a jar like this. Uh, what took me so long to get it was, I think they changed the packaging, I don't know. Or every time I'd go and ask like a store, like someone who worked at the store, they had no idea what I was talking about. And then when I finally did know exactly what it looked like and where to find it, because one of my um, co-workers, she also uses this, um, they were completely sold out. And they said it's one of their most popular products. Um, basically what this does, I'll read on the back what it claims to do, and I'll tell you what I've noticed that it has done. I've been using it for about three and a half weeks. But it says, Studio 35 Beauty Alpha Hydroxy Fa I think that's my boyfriend. <laughs> um, it says it's a treatment and gentle exfoliator to help restore a fresh, healthy, and more youthful appearance. Um, it removes dead skin cells, assists skin tone, and skin texture. So every night after I wash my face, um, I just apply this with my clean hands um, and just let it do its thing. I don't put on an extra moisturizer, I just use this. I have noticed that when I wake up I have less dead skin around my nose, which is great. I also notice my skin texture improve. I still do have acne breakouts, I mean this isn't meant to like be an acne product, but I have noticed that it has helped a little bit with my breakouts, but my skin texture has improved immensely. and. Um, I mean, even with the acne, like the rest of my skin, I can just feel, feel so much smoother. I have a really bad case of acne to the point where I have been on, like, I, I mean, I still am supposed to use um, pills for it, but I've been on things such as Accutane, and Accutane is really like the farthest step you can go. Um, it's not the best medicine for you to be on. Um, but I have done it, and when I was doing it, it made my skin texture incredibly smooth. This is the closest thing I've found to make my skin feel that smooth again. Um, I mean, disregarding the whole acne side of it, just talking about the rest of my skin and its smoothness, it's incredible. Um, this is just under $9, so I would suggest you try this out if you're looking for like a starting alpha hydroxy product. Um, it's very affordable and it's pretty effective as well. So definitely go check that out. Uh, next I am wearing today and it's the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Fresh Complexion Oil Free Foundation. Um, what I love about this is when you first apply it, actually you know what, I'm not going to go into detail about this. I forgot I was going to do a review on it, but I really do like this foundation. If you have any specific questions about it, leave it down below because when I do my review on it, I can answer some of those questions, but just know I am loving it. I got mine from Walgreens, I believe it was $6.99, so um, I think it's going to come out to drugstores everywhere, but been my favorite so far. Something else that's been my favorite is um, the Hard Candy Blush Trio. This is in... 8383 eight, strikes. <clears throat> now, the thing that people might not like about this is everything in this is shimmery. So usually when I use it, I choose either like just two to use or just one to use. I mean, sometimes I use all three, but the thing that I really do use pretty much every day is the highlight. It's just absolutely gorgeous. These are like $9 at Walmart. They have other colors. They're beautiful. If you haven't tried any of the baked bronzers or blushes or these trios from Hard Candy, I highly suggest you do. They're just gorgeous and the price, I mean for drugstore it is a little bit more, but honestly, totally worth it. Beautiful. 
Um, so this has been in my favorite blushes videos before and I swatched it for you then, but beautiful, shimmer, awesome. Can't say enough good things about it. Next is from Wet n Wild and it's the Fergie Take On The Day Eyeshadow Primer. I believe this is like $4.99. Where did I get mine from? I think I got mine from Walgreens. I think. Um, yeah. But basically, this is just a nude based primer and a squeezy tube. Just kind of like the Urban Decay. Um, original primer like I would say that they're similar in the color um, however the difference in texture is this one's a little bit more tacky which I kind of prefer just because I feel like that's what makes my eyeshadow stay on all day long when I use this my eyeshadow stays all day long <laughs> like I said uh, so it's great for lasting power for making it pop um, and it's very affordable the only thing that some people might not like about this is it can make it a little bit more difficult to blend out your eyeshadows because it does kind of have that little bit of tackiness. Um, but I really like it, so if that sounds like something you want to try, go for it for $4.99. Come on. <laughs> Next is the Wet n Wild H2O Water or H2O Proof Liquid Eyeliner in Ultra Black. And I have never tried this before, and I just needed a new um, eyeliner, and I love it. It's super black, and it literally stays on all day until you wash it off. And when I say wash it off, I mean you can use water and soap, and that's not even enough to get this off. This stuff stays. So for someone like me who lives in Arizona, it's hot. Um, you sweat a lot, I mean this is great because you, no one wants eyeliner all over their face. The only thing is taking it off can be a pain in the butt. So highly, highly suggest um, having like a makeup remover for your eyes because you're going to need it. <laughs> like just simple water and soap, it won't do and you don't want to be scrubbing at your eyes. So if you're looking for a really, really long lasting um, eyeliner, the Wet n Wild one is great and I think it's like $3.99 so I have it on today actually. I just I really like it a lot. And lastly is this big ginormous liter of lotion. I got this for my birthday which was April 29th so it's already passed but I mean I still have this and the funny thing is the person that got this for me she got me two <laughs> and I'm like I am gonna have lotion forever. Um, but it's from, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, but it's Cretin or Cretin Made in England Smoothie Bar Body Lotion Strawberry Daiquiri. Um, so this is seriously a liter size. It has a pump, so it's just very convenient and it smells delicious. Um, I would say it just smells more like strawberries and she got this from Ross for $5.99 and I'm just like, this is just so much lotion and it just smells good. So... I've been using this every day, and I'm just like, I'm never going to run out of this. She also bought me a pineapple one, which I also really like, but if I had to choose one, definitely the strawberry. I'm a strawberry scent fan kind of gal. So, yeah. And thank you so much for watching and subscribing, and I'll talk to you guys later.